Not going to beat around the bush today with this one. Betrayal of Guilt. Christ fricker. Don't really want to say them. Thought, oh, you know what? Christ fucker. I'm sorry. They're the ones who want to fuck you, not me. Um, I do quite like this record. So, but I, I still just want to keep it brief because... Uh, I've got other things I want to do. Black Metal Outfit. Portrayal of Guilt. Formed in Austin, Texas. Back in, I think, 2017. Bit of a new band. And this is their... Third record. Now these guys are kind of classified as a hardcore punk band, but you could also classify them as black metal or screamo even. Post-hardcore. There are some post-hardcore moments on this record, but they do also pull a lot from like noise music, noise rock. And it all coalesces into a, a pretty consistent sort of aesthetic and listen as well. Let's take the song Fall From Grace, for example, which kind of just sounds like a hardcore punk song but with the volume turned up even higher the distortion just pushed up even more super high octane performance there's a uh, a bit of a syncopated breakdown portion towards the end that kind of builds into a a pretty quiet finish which is a bit underwhelming because it's actually quite a good track outside of that song sadist though has a really groovy beginning portion uh, we get a bit of a change up sort of towards the midsection with some sort of staccato riffs, blood curdling screams and growls, moans and groans. And the final part on this track bursts in crazily with some like super dissonant sound play. Really quite an enjoyable track. <laughs> the Crucifixion D beat. It's got a D beat, and along with that, some really twisted whooping leads, really demonic, demonic growls, harsh, brittle chords, a pretty sick climactic point near the finish of this track, which I'll always welcome with an open heart. Master and Slave features some Daughters esque guitar tones. Sounds like a freaking poltergeist is in my system with how chaotic and just cascading everything is. Not, not much else to say about the track besides uh, I kind of like some of the swirling groans and classic growls. But the last two tracks on this record, Where the Suffering Ends and Possession, are two of my favourite moments on this record. Uh, the former sort of feeling a little bit like, a, like an exorcism. Super gnarly. Portions of dizzying blast beats and crying wailing guitar leads and even more dissonance uh the salt the salt <laughs> the assault on this track almost does feel um <laughs> never ending uh, we get an awesome little fade out with this sort of shrill synth portion that that really like it does sound like an improvement on their last record uh, in a lot of ways like the way that they use sound on this record is so much more sinister and menacing possession the final track is literally lyrically about possession awesome multifaceted piece uh, switches from sort of like oral abuse to these kind of post hardcore-esque sections uh, really seamlessly builds and builds and builds with some super repetitive riffs and just persistent percussion. Now the song does end kind of abruptly, although the idea there I suppose is that it kind of seems almost like, you know, the fight is over in a sense, you know, the the, the demon or whatever the, the evil force has possessed and has, has won. The possession has succeeded! We sort of get some really watery, kind of muffled tones that just sort of float in the background and coast the track out you know really quietly really subtly which is fine i get what they're going for and i think they pull it off we win winning so yeah apart from some kind of underwhelming almost pointless interstitial moments <laughs> and some tracks that sort of don't take me anywhere structurally like they seem to build to things but then don't fully commit to it and it's sort of just feels a little bit like half-baked like on the track dirge this is um this is good this is a good record and by the end i actually felt pretty satisfied with the result and i'm excited to tune into what the band does next i'm sure there's more coming so what did you think about this album christ
do you think the band didn't go hard enough or do you think that they could you know tone it down a little bit just take it a bit easier <laughs> i don't know why you would think that whoever's watching i love you don't leave if i'm interesting to you at all please tell me i hope you're enjoying wherever you are in this world it's over video's over idiot like and subscribe that's your only job <coughs> you don't do that it'll be very sad <laughs> i call emotional blackmail if you don't subscribe i'll freaking shoot up a shopping center. It'll be all your fault! Bye. Final rating, 7.0 out of 10. Yeah.